need a little pit stop. I've got some flaming hot lemon doritos and they're like bright red. And we appear to be watching a Lego documentary. So we've just arrived in the lap of luxury. Let me do your little tour. We've got a four bed dorm, so it's just us, which is nice. We've got a little sink, got a shower. We haven't got a loo, that's outside. Look at these beds. Lockers, my favorite thing. We've got Wi-Fi that works in the room. Access to a rooftop cafe. Air conditioning, fan, lamp, table, all to ourselves. So we're feeling pretty great right now. But yeah, I emailed um, the people at the next place we're going, um, which is Madrasal, which is on the coast. Um, and it's kind of back in the sticks again. They haven't replied, so we're thinking we might stay here another night because the hostel's nice and the Wi Fi works. We can explore Tuxla a little bit as well. But yeah, and also it's um, only like £6.70 a night as well, so I'm pretty pleased with this place. And it's big though, there's so many rooms. But we're gonna head up to the rooftop. Um, what was I gonna say? Something about something. Oh yeah, the, the bus ride was really nice. It was very, very beautiful through the, the highlands after our little stop off. He was a bit crazy though, our driver. He was overtaking absolutely everyone and going around bends very, very quickly and going to the loo at red lights. This is the view from our hostel's rooftop terrace. Pretty amazing. And they've got quite, the well, it looks like nice food. So we've come up for breakfast and this is the view in the daytime. Complete with mountains. Hills. Guys, this internet up here on the terrace is amazing. Like, that is actually moving. It's amazing. Basically, I love this hostel too much and I don't ever want to leave. The shower was like, it was a good temperature and there was a proper shower head and it all came out in the right place from the shower head. Also, the food here is really nice. I didn't film my dinner last night. Zach's having some sort of pink concoction. Paddy's got a mango concoction. Here are my huevos mochileños. We've sorted out our laundry and it's our first attempt at laundry. I think that's a very small amount of laundry. I've got knickers as well. Um, the hostel offers laundry service but um, we are quite concerned that they are going to shrink all of our t-shirts. <laughs> but you know, there's not much we can do. We can either, as Jess put it, what was it, stink or shrink? So, gotta go. So, in absence of other things to do, because I think Tux is all about the day trips, um, we are gonna go to the bus station buy bus tickets for tomorrow and go to the supermarket and buy some donuts. Let's go. We just met um, a very friendly, a little bit crazy guy, the Sinopolis. <laughs> so we were looking to see if there was anything we could watch, um, but most of the good ones were dubbed, so we had to give up on that idea, but he came up to us and asked us where we were from, and then started saying, like, British, Britishisms. Um, <laughs> But he was lovely, he had um, very good English. Now we're going to get donuts from the, the supermercado, which is exciting stuff. Things seem to be very big on their pastries, which is not something that I really expected. But um, there's always loads. Oh, oh my goodness. My mouth is watering. No, that looks like bread. But I want pasta. <laughs> Into the arcade. So, 
I didn't finish yesterday's vlog. I know I've not finished any of these vlogs actually, which is pretty bad. I need to start starting and finishing these vlogs yes, properly. But um, we just went up to the roof bar again and had some food, had some drinks, and went to bed. Um, today, obviously, we're off to Madrasal. We're gonna go to Tonala, which is on the coast, um, and go to this, hopefully, go and book this cabana, which is in Madrasal from the, their offices there. It's like an eco-tourism project thing. But yeah, we got our laundry back and nothing seems to be crazily shrunk, so that's good. made it to Madrasal. Well, we actually went to Tonala and then we um, we took a taxi here. Though we probably could have taken a collective but we didn't. Um, yeah, I bet it would have stopped at the top it of would that have, long road. Yeah, it would have stopped and um, it probably wouldn't have been much less expensive to be honest because uh, it costs us about £3.50 each for a 45 minute taxi ride. And now we're in a boat. We're off to our cabana, I think. But yeah, we're in Madrasal. It's an eco-tourist, like, it's a complex. I think it's got restaurants and tours and stuff and banners, obviously. So we've made it to our room. It's pretty nice. Got two double beds. We've got plugs, but apparently the um, power goes well. From what I could understand, they're not speaking very clearly, to be fair, because I don't think they're saying that confusing of stuff. But from what I understand, the power goes off at 6:30, even though the book says 11. But we'll have to see. It would seem strange to have the power off all night when you need the power the most. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's off in the day. Maybe she, because you were trying to plug that in, she was trying to say it's not gonna work. There's a restaurant and I can hear the sea, so we're gonna go check that out. Sess has got it's just coconut prawns. This is my pescado divorciado. We tied Zach's hair up. Oh. Yeah, I think you need um, more bobby pins. So we have played a lot of cards. And now we're playing charades. We've moved from the restaurant because I think the guy wanted to go to bed. Now Sess is in a hammock. I want to have a go. It's really not as fun. Does it look fun? <laughs> it looks fun. Wait, reveal yourself. It was funny when your head was out. Oh, that's nice. Not a tune coming. <laughs> Good morning, guys. So, we are up stinkingly early this morning because we're going to go and see some crocodiles, hopefully. Hopefully. Oh, I forgot my binoculars. I've been bitten about 6,000 times in the night. I'm really annoyed at myself for not putting... We didn't put DEET on when we were out in the evening last night just because we couldn't be bothered. We're back on the, uh, the lake. Switch to a non-motorized boat, which um, which means we're going to see animals. I think. Um, didn't see any of them up close, but I guess it's because they're actually wild. Uh, 
but it was cool. It was um, nice to have a little boat through the mangroves as well, whilst it was um, still not too hot, because I think now it would be boiling in there. But then we had some breakfast, had some eggs, and now we the sun's come out for a bit, so um, we're sitting on the beach. Other people have arrived as well. These are the other the first people we've seen who are, haven't been staff. Um, they've come for the day at the beach, I think. But it's really nice. I might get out in the sun a little bit, but we can enjoy some shade first because it is quite warm. So it's turned into a really beautiful day. We've been getting our tan on because yesterday when we arrived, it's quite cloudy, but it's very beautiful. Um, very calm, not calm, peaceful. Because there's really no one about. We think it must be low season. The sea's a little bit scary, it's scaring us. It's quite forceful. So we haven't been in the sea yet. It's just very strong fish taste. So it is now begun to rain. I don't, I don't know whether I'm going to be able to catch thunder, but it sounds like some sort of war is going on. It's so loud. We also watched uh, what looks to be some sort of pelican smack into a wave, and he seems to have broken his wing, which is sad. And my face is extremely. We don't have power tonight, so this is our light source. It looks a lot brighter on camera than it does in real life. Good morning, guys. So, today we're leaving Metrosal, which is a little bit sad because it has been very beautiful and very peaceful. But we are going back to civilization a little bit and going to San Cristobal de las Casas, which everybody we spoke to absolutely loves it. Anyone we speak, everyone we spoke to in Tuxla said they loved it. Um, people that own the chill in so they loved it so we're excited to go it's a colonial town i think um with lots going on for travelers and stuff so yeah and we're going to be staying there a few days um because there are some tours and day trips as well that we're gonna take from there but first we're gonna have some breakfast we're all packed and ready to go so yeah we're gonna have some breakfast by the sea before we leave and then say goodbye i don't know how we're gonna get back but hopefully Someone will help us. English, please. <laughs> you seem to oh, have oh, <laughs> squeezed in one second. <laughs> okay. So now we've been dropped off at the side of the road and um, we have to wait for a collectivo, I think. Oh, they're calling them combis, but we're really not sure when it's going to come. We've um, very quickly hailed a collectivo.